What's going on, YouTube? It's been a long time coming. You guys have been asking for this, and I'm gonna be taking you guys to the low face city. Sit back, relax. I'm gonna teach you guys step by step how to hit a flashy compressed low fade. We're gonna start by combing the hair down. We start with a guard number eight, lever open. We start from the temple all the way to the occipital bone. Make sure once you pass the ridge to always scoop out as you can see. I scoop it out, comb it down, do it again, scoop it out. You guys don't want to cut into the crown. You guys want to keep it nice and full. So guard number four, lever open. We're gonna start by the nape area. As you guys can see, once I get to the occipital bone, I scoop out. So this is pretty much two inches above the ear, around the ear. I tilt my clipper right so I can keep my C cup nice and dark. Continue to do the same process, scooping out. As you guys can see, we comb down so we can get that nice and smooth. So we throw on the guard number two. We start by the nape area, lever open. And again, same process. You scoop out once you get to the occipital bone. It's only about an inch above the ear. So we tilt the clipper to the right again and we flick so we can keep that C cup nice and dark. Bar one and a half, lever open. We start towards the nape area again. It's pretty much the same process over and over again, just a, an inch above the ear, and same process, just keep flicking. lever open start by the nape area again it's the same process over and over again we just keep going down and around the ear as you guys can see it's starting to get lighter and it looks pretty smooth Half guard open, again by the nape area. I know guys, we continue to do the same process around the ear. As you guys can see, it's starting to come out. You guys can see the, the difference, the gradient, the compression of the low fade. No guard, lever open. As you guys can see, I'm using the taper blade and we start Again, by the nape area. It's the same process over and over again. You wanna be very careful by not fading too up. So we scoop out lightly about a half an inch. And as you guys can see, we start to see that fade. So lever all the way close and we're still using the taper blade and we're going to continue to start by the nape area. As you can see, my flicks are very small and precise. Don't worry if you start to notice small lines. 
just keep fading play with the lever a little bit as you can see I pushed it up a little bit I opened it and I keep flicking just continue to fade continue to flick and as you guys can see it's looking pretty flashy just be patient So as you guys can see, there's still some dark spots. So we take the half guard lever open and we're just gonna work it. We're gonna get some detail work in. As can see, I'm using the corner of my clipper, playing with my lever, just to get those nice dark spots out of the way, and we can get a nice flashy fade. Just be patient, guys, and trust the process, the flashy faded process. So now I'm gonna take my DTX trimmer and we're gonna cut the hair that we don't want anymore. I highly recommend this trimmer. I love it. I did modify it myself though, but man, ever since I got these, I haven't put them down. And I actually retired my FX by Babeless. And I highly, highly recommend these. As you guys can see, look at the fade. It's looking flashy. It's looking nice. It's all in that detail work. These compressed low fades are the hardest in the game. So there you have it. A flashy faded compressed low fade. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is my first tutorial from many to come and I will get better for you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed, man. Subscribe, like, comment, and let me know what you guys wanna see next. Remember, Flashy Faded is more than just a cut. It's a lifestyle. Thank you.